Hi, I'm Linda from Paper Boutique with Linda.com. Today I want to talk about envelopes. I love envelopes and this is my sixth video on different ways to make them. Please check out my YouTube channel. Just type an envelope in the search bar to see all of my videos. Well, using your Cricut Explore makes it so easy to make the cutest envelopes and liners. The scoring is done for you. Let's get started and I'm going to show you some of my favorite envelopes. First, I want to mention to you to check out Melody Lane's video titled Sizing Envelopes and Cards in Cricut Design Space. I love her videos and she'll show you how to use Design Space to size your envelopes. She also loves using this cartridge. And I want to talk about my favorite new cartridge and I think this came out in mid-May and it's called Classically Modern Cards. And what I love about it are all of the envelopes and I'm going to show you several of them. But each card has a beautiful envelope to match. Once again, it's called Classically Modern Cards. And I made this card for Valentine's Day and I love it. And my Cricut Explorer just makes such intricate cuts. So I made the card and then I wanted to show you the envelope that came with it. It is simply adorable. One thing I want to mention, I'm going to show you several envelopes. This first one I made using two layers of cardstock and I don't think I would recommend using two layers of regular cardstock because it gets re it's really heavy and it's just a little too bulky for my taste, but look at the cute cutout. So let me show you um, what I did after I used two layers of cardstock. This is another envelope that I love that came from the classical, classically modern cards and it also comes with a liner, which I think is just beautiful. This is made, this envelope is made using regular weight cardstock and then this is just a text weight paper, the type you can get in those big thick paper pads. And I like the way it lays even better than the, the two layers of cardstock. And let me show you just another one of the beautiful envelopes. Look at this. And once again, I cut this using a rather, this is a basil heavy cardstock. And then I lined it, as you can see, with a text weight. And this is just an A2 card that is slipped in. But if you'll notice, what I did when I glued the envelope, it should look, let me show you the exact envelope, it should look like this. And what I did is I glued the flaps over the top. So then I just cut a piece of um, text weight paper and punched it just to cover up my mistake. But isn't that an amazing cut? And that also comes with a matching card in, in the new cartridge. This is um, a card using two um, pieces of text weight paper and that's my favorite. You can tell just as I'm moving it that it's very lightweight and I love this envelope. Once again, it's part of the classically modern cards. You can't really see the scallop with all of the print going on, but what's fun about this envelope is you could use a piece of um, like taupe cardstock to write your address on or write it on a label so it would really pop on this print. And lastly, I want to show you my favorite envelope. I, I love the way it looks, kind of art deco. And once again, this is two pieces of text weight paper and I sized all my envelopes to fit an A2 card. And that's one of the great things about Melody Lane's video. She'll show you how to size the cards and the envelopes. Well, I would like to thank you for watching and let me bring in a couple of these envelopes. And please visit my blog at www.paperboutiquewithlinda.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.